G'day guys, what's cracking? It's Ralph here, and today we're talking about the 35 liter Day Chaser camera backpack from Moment. Yes, come on, get into it. It's 35 liters. That means if you pour 35 liters of Coke into it, you destroy it. Yeah. It, I don't understand why they do things in liters with backpacks, but I guess you've got to measure it in something. 15 liters is put into camera space. The rest, the other 15 plus three from the extension goes into personal care or other camera stuff if you're like me and you put all your camera stuff into the one bag. Now I find a bag is a very personal choice. It's a lot like a tripod. Tripod is a very personal decision you make. Now they sent me this bag and I was intrigued because I've never been sent a bag. Every other bag I've ever had, I've explored and wrestled with and researched and done all that, they sent it to me. So I am, I then adapted myself to it and it worked remarkably well to the point that this is now my main camera bag. Now I have some reservations about the bag which I'm gonna share at the end of the video but before I get there I wanna tell you about what it does and what I love about it because it does heaps and I love heaps about it. Let's start with the price. Yes, this is the price. Now you might go, oh geez, that's, a, that's expensive. But let me tell you about bags. A good bag like this, just like a good tripod, can last you your entire life and career as a photographer or a filmmaker. If you're into hiking, and this is the one to get if you're a photographer that loves a bit of hiking and a bit of camping, that sort of thing, this will last you for forever. It's so well made, but I have learnt over the years that if you spend more money on better quality stuff, it lasts you longer and you enjoy it more rather than having to upgrade when your stuff fails or it doesn't work out. Now, obviously, you have to choose within your budget, but let's look at this. It's actually made of this nylon material that what I should do is go and get the hose and just smash it with the hose with all my gear in it and see if it actually is weatherproof like it says it's weatherproof comes in this beautiful gray, misty gray blue with a nice mustard highlights or a black. So take your pick. It is nice to have a different color scheme. All my stuff is black and sometimes I just get a bit bored with it. Don't tell it that, but it's just a bit different. It stands out, it's kind of nice, it's stylish and well, you look good in the bush. And we have a ton of different versatility around this. Let's start with the handles. It's got handles everywhere, so you can just pick it up. It's got a handle there. It's got a handle on the back. Huh. It's got a handle on the top. It's got a handle in here. There's even a handle tucked in there. It's got the two straps on the back and the waistband, which you can get rid of. You can just pull this out if you don't want it, but it's remarkably comfy. What you do is you put this on your back and then you adjust these and it pulls it right up on your shoulders. So it takes all the strain off your back and then you can put this right around your waist. So it sits around your waist, not your belly, and it sits really, really comfortable. Plus you have all these little grooves here that you can attach a GoPro to if you're doing a bit of point of view shooting, or or you can attach a clip to if you want to whack a camera on there and they're very durable and of course you can pick it up mm, oh crikeys by the straps it weighs a bit more than 35 liters i think but <laughs> welcome to the gun show so as you can see from this view it has a tripod holder which is also a drink bottle holder so this just down here um it expands out so if i unclip this it goes flat and flush right it doesn't pop out it's not bulky and strange but then a drink bottle or your tripod can just slide in and it's got these straps. There's another strap like this around on the other side, which is great if you want to carry another tripod there, you want to carry a smaller tripod um, or anything else that can just clip into one of these straps or even a water bottle. If you've got a water bottle with a hook on top, you can whack it on the other side. Comes with this cool weatherproof option that wraps your entire bag up and your head. So this is ideal when you're out shooting and the rain comes in, and you just want to protect your gear and it fits over so easily, so quickly, and you can stash it in one of the pockets. It takes up no room at all. Ta-da! Now check it out, right? We like this, but this is what I, this is just really cool, watch. It stands up. It stands up. And then you want to go up on the side. It sits on the side. You want to go up on its back, on its belly. It just, you wouldn't put it on your root, on the head. That would just be a bit silly. But it stands up 
All by itself, I find that remarkably handy. No other bag have I ever had that just stands up by itself. They all fall over and it kind of frustrates me because you're like, just wait, no, it's like talking to a puppy. But no puppy, it just does what it's told when it's told. <laughs> yeah, good one. Plenty of padding that absorbs the sweat, pulls the sweat away from your back and your body. Uh, I don't know what it does with it then. Let's hope it neutralizes it and discards it rather than holding it in that stinky, sweaty thing. But, uh, but it's, it's very comfortable, especially when it sits well on your back. And so you have to adjust, but you know when it's perfect because it sits well and you're like, it feels like I'm not carrying much weight at all. The advantage to these hoops that are built into the straps because of these tension thing is it's easy to put on, but then when you reach around, you know that feeling, you reach around, you're like, where is it? Your arms are automatically in and you're good to go. Come on. They claim you can walk around all day with it. I've not had a full day hiking trip with it, but I tell you, you can walk a mile with this and not feel the wear, tear or strain of the weight that you're carrying. And I have all my camera gear in here. Yeah, all of it, all of it. Should we get into it? Because that's the exciting part. To access the camera gear, you unclip here, you unclip here and you have this little lid. The lid reveals a pocket or you can simply unzip your gear and check it out. So, oh, I wonder where that got. <laughs> it's my lens cap. So I've got my camera in here. I've got my vlogging camera here and my FTZ adapter here. I've got a 70 to 200 in here. I've got my mini drone in here with two batteries and my cards. I've then got another lens attached in there. That's where my, put that on. Another lens in there, and what I love about this is the depth. Now, when I first looked at it, I freaked out. I thought, I'm not gonna fit my gear in there. It looks really narrow and really small, but then I stuck my gear in there. This is a Z8, so it is a bulky camera. I could put my Z9 in there because my Z8 and Z9 are the same depth. The Z9 is higher, but because of the height, you can get away with two things. You can put a big, camera in there with a big camera grip and it fits with a lens on the front. You can move this around and then you can turn over one of these inserts to create another section that you can lay, say a vlogging camera down and an FTZ adapter. And then it just, it's there. Now, if you're thinking right, it's got two, two zips, right? So what you can do is you can have one zip there and you can just pull the other there and just access your camera real quick if you need it. So just pull your camera out, just like that, for whatever you need. You can put your camera back in, you can zip it back up, and you're not, you're not having to like undo the whole thing and muck about with the whole thing. You can also extend these straps, so you can put a sleeping roll in there or anything else. You might even want to just put your jumper in there. If you've got no room for it in anywhere else, you can put your jumper in there and keep it safe throughout the day. So I've got these sections up here. So it has a little pocket here. In here I have my controller, I have a battery, and I have some filters for my drone, plus a cable if I want to do some long exposure and plug my camera in, that sort of thing. So that just sits in there nice and comfy. I can then unzip the top main function. And in here, I have a tripod, I have my rain jacket, I have my strap, I have a cloth, <laughs> and I have my beast. This is the 150 to 600 Tamron, just can sit in there. And that's actually perfect for it to sit in a different section because when I need this, it's what I'm doing specific sort of photography, but all the other lenses that I have in there, I can use in the same sort of shoot. Whether it's a landscape or I'm going through the bush or rainforest, shooting a waterfall, that's that section. The specialized zoom lens can sit in here. Now this area can get extended and it gets extended by this little function here, which gives you three extra liters. So if you'll see, it changes the profile of the bag from this to this, but it's ideal. So you can actually put some food in there. You can put another, a, put a change of clothes in there if you like. I'm gonna carry this around with me all the time. So I know all my stuff's gonna be in there. It's quite a sizable space too. Two funky pockets and one is here. 
and you can put your laptop in there. Up to an 18 inch laptop can slide in there. It does change the comfortability factor of your uh, wearing it. You will need to readjust the straps once the computer is in there because it sits against your back differently. So just be aware of that. It doesn't mean it's not comfortable. It means you've got to rearrange so that it becomes comfortable again with the addition of the iPad. But it's perfect if you're traveling, if you're going away somewhere and you want everything in the one bag and it's not an enormous bag. And then on the other side, we have this area which has all my batteries in it. Batteries, it has a base plate, some attachments for my lenses, has a pair of glasses for my eyes aren't working real good, has some shower caps in case I want to put it over the camera if it's raining, and a few other bits and pieces like that. And that sits on the side there. There is another cool little pocket that lives up here that you could put your batteries and stuff into and this actually goes real real deep so if you need a deep long pocket it's sort of zipped off you can unzip it and push the velcro and go right to the bottom of the bag um, and so you can put all you can put an ipad in there as well if you want or there might be a blanket or rug or something that you just need to slide all the way in keep it nice and thin but but down there's a there's a host of other things you could put your batteries in here but what i've done is put my filters in here nice little moment filters good job moment love your stuff great work i've got some gloves too gloves are really handy when gosh when it's cold and you've got these gloves that are sensitive touch screen mm, so good and that folks is the bag now what are my reservations because these are the things i love i'm convinced i'm using it how could they make it even better all right you ready for this? I would love it if you would subscribe, help me move past 10,000 subscribers. 10,000 of you, you guys are amazing. Man, 10,000. You guys are the best. All, all of you, the best. All of you. <laughs> First of all, these straps are a little bit hard to access. So when it's brand new, they take a bit of getting out, but yeah, it just take a bit of accessing. It'd be handy if they just had either uh, some cutaways here or some way, just extend these just a little bit so that rather than being hidden in there, which looks good, that's what they were going for, you could just easily access it. Honestly, not really a big deal whatsoever. Secondly, it would be great if one of these straps was the opposite to that. Now I could probably actually just change it. But if one of these was one of them, you could then flip it over and hold it out the way by clicking these two together. Yeah, just, it would be, it would be cool. It, not a game changer, but it would be cool. The biggest thing I change, I change this. So you see in here, you have limited space where you can actually move the dividers. There's a Velcro strip runs down this wall and along the base and the same here. The sides here and here you can Velcro to, the back you can't and the floor you can't. So you're limited with where you can put these. So it's good the amount they give you, it's wonderful the depth, but it would be good if it was just this soft material on the base rather than a nylon finish, which would enable you to have complete flexibility based on your camera setup. It'd be great just to have a little bit more flexibility there, but as I've explored it and used it, it actually works. They've thought it through really well, and they've got these different segments for your drone, for lenses, for whatever you need to use it for. So they've, they've done well, but yeah, it was a reservation. Now every other camera bag I've had has had one of these, but it's been built in. And the beauty of it being built in is you don't lose it, you know exactly where it is, and you just pull it out and then wrap it round. So this wraps around super easy, and I really like the extra space they give you, depending on what you might have attached to it. So that is wonderful. But if it were, for example, attached here, and just lived, slid under here, oh, or even slid on the back, just tucked away, it would be wonderful, wouldn't it? Just be, it's so good, it's so good. I'm being fussy, I realize. You know it's a good product when you have to be fussy to offer any improvements. And finally, it would be great if it had an ideal battery compartment. So this is where I've chosen to put my batteries on the side. If I don't put my batteries there, I'm not sure what would live there to be honest, but you need to make sure that that doesn't inhibit the space that your tripod slides into. There would be the additions that I would recommend, but like I said, a bag is a personal thing. And the difficulty with buying something that is so personal is it's never perfect. It's like the perfect camera. It doesn't actually exist. This 
is wonderful and I'm very thankful to Moment for sending me one to have a play with, to talk to you about and to recommend to you. It is now my regular camera bag and so you will see it in other videos where I'm wearing my regular camera bag because this will be my regular camera bag. Whew. What do you think about buying a new camera bag? Is that something that you want to do? Are you in the market for it? What do you look for when you're buying a bag? Uh, this is great because it takes care of all your camera gear plus the stuff you might take on a day trip or you might take if you're going on holiday for a little while and you just need that extra space and your camera gear to go nuts with. If you've enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate a thumbs up and put a comment if you've got a question or what do you think about the bag? I hope this has been helpful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Just the cream de mont. Is that? I don't even know what that means. Like the creme de creme. That's it, the cream of the cream. The best of the best. Laptop can slide in there. Mm, light's dead.